Good morning, my lovely reception. It is Wednesday, the 9th of February, and today we are looking at measuring distance. Now, I'm really excited for this lesson because it is lots of fun and I can't wait for you guys to have a go. Now, there are lots of ways that you can measure distance, and we normally might measure it in centimetres or metres or kilometres or miles, and we use things like our rulers that we have in school or our big long metre sticks. And you can also use things like tape measures. But there are other different ways to measure and these are called non-standard ways of measuring. So you can measure things in your hands. You can see how many hands is it. You could use your feet, you could use umbrellas, paper clips or blocks and those are non-standard ways of measuring and that's what we are also going to look at today. So your challenge for today, which I'm really excited about, is you are going to do a welly throwing competition. Now if you haven't got wellies, don't panic. You can use any sort of shoe. You could even use a paper airplane or whatever you choose. But you are going to have a competition. So what you'll need is you will each need a welly or a shoe. You're then going to stand in a line so you're, it's nice and fair. You're then going to see how far can you throw your welly. You're then going to measure each person's throw using a non-standard measure. And if you'd like to, you can record your results. Now, in, your, in the pictures that are on this slide, you can see how many people have been practising throwing their wellies. Look how many wellies are in that picture. And then there's two people that are having a welly throwing competition. So I have roped in my family and this is my family's welly wanging competition, which is another word for welly throwing competition. OK, let's watch the video. Here is my family's welly wanging. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, I was getting a bit worried that I might be going to get hit with one of those wellies. Now, unfortunately, my brother was at work, so he couldn't join in with the competition. So they all had great fun throwing their wellies. Now, you can notice that they are all still in the line at the same place, so make it nice and fair. We don't want any cheating, OK? And... We measured it using our feet. We put one foot in front of the other to see how many feet it took to get to our wellies. And this is sh this video shows you how you can measure using your feet. Now, as you can see, Miss Anson has got her very stylish socks on. I think it's because I might have just been horse riding. So excuse my socks. But that is how we measured in our using our feet to see how far our wellies have been thrown. So here are the results. So Dave, and that's my dad, as some of you know, he threw his 21 feet. So he, we had to put his feet 21 times like that. And then Helen, who is my mum, she had seven feet. My sister Immy had 12 and the other sister had 17. So the winner was Dave, my dad. Well done, dad. Of course he won. He's very competitive, just like me. And if I was in the competition, I definitely would have won. 100% I know I would have won because people, especially in otter class, know that Miss Anderson is just a little bit competitive sometimes. So that is your challenge. I would like you to go and have a welly throwing competition. You can use shoes, you can use a paper aeroplane and see how far you can throw whatever object you are using and measure in a non-standard unit. And then if you want to, you can record your results. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.